My name is uh, Benjamin Skinner, and this is my reflection on my internship this past summer at Hydrodynamics Laboratory. Um, so a quick rundown of the major projects that I worked on this summer. Uh, model drop rig. Uh, so that's the drop rig we have at the MHL we're going to be using to test how objects enter the water and how, you know, the vibrations and the impact force. Um, creating a miter saw unit that was movable to create a mo more fluent workspace in the model shop. I created some educational videos and an additional extracurricular activity for the Sea Perch Challenge, which is a way to engage high school students in an engineering environment. Um, worked on the Room 156 model, specifically helped uh, take the dimensions for the HDP slabs we put in, um, as well as disassembling the flow loop. And then I'm attaching a Wi-Fi extender to the carriage currently. Uh, just to create a better workspace while we're on the carriage. Um, so areas I saw a lot of professional growth this summer in the internship um, was modeling. Coming in, I didn't really have any modeling experience. Um, since doing the internship, I've gotten really comfortable with working with SolidWorks and Rhino, which is great. Um, so right here in figure two, you can see uh, SolidWorks drawing from that miter saw I mentioned earlier. Um, so miscellaneous software I got to work with, Premiere Pro, Excel, Microsoft Word, uh, especially Microsoft and Excel. Those are two really useful tools. So having that extra experience with them and having that in my back pocket going forward is going to be nice. Um, modeling to fabrication. I really hadn't fabricated at all coming into this internship. Um, so just, just understanding uh, that transition from modeling to fabrication and realizing just because it looks good on paper doesn't mean it's going to work out the way you want it to. A good example of that, again, was with the miter saw. Um, so actually the steel piping that I used, the holes weren't aligned evenly on each section. So I ended up having to create uh, a slotted uh, steel plate to connect the two. But that was something I ran into along the way that it looked good on paper, but ended up having some problems when I was actually fabricating it. And then establishing a workflow. Uh, so beginning with this internship, this is my first job really where I was sitting behind a computer um, for a lot of the day, which is definitely a transition for myself. And I noticed as internship went on, I got better at breaking my day into chunks and really having a chunk where I was on the computer and then getting into the workshop for a couple hours just to change up the pace a little bit. So that way, you know, I could be efficient with my time and be focused in uh, each, each capacity. Um, so in areas of personal growth, uh, Gained a lot of confidence the work I was producing throughout the summer. I think that comes with just seeing things come to fruition um, in your projects. And so that, that was really nice. I'm going to be able to carry that into the school year with me as we begin working on projects and going back into coursework. Um, having a growth mindset, uh, just really using this internship, taking advantage of the ability to learn here. I'll learn that as LinkedIn learning or just listening to Jason and Jim and the knowledge that they both have. Um, and then going forward, learning from Jason and Jim and realizing I'm an undergraduate engineer and I'm going to be starting as a new engineer, engineer eventually. And, you know, there's going to be a lot to learn in this next five to 10 years. Um, and then collaboration within a team environment with engineers grew a lot there, learning to uh, learning communication skills and also, you know, what I'm good at, what I'm not good at, uh, learning how to delegate work um, and split up work amongst uh, teammates. Uh, some areas I felt like I can really improve on after some reflection. I talked about that uh, workflow earlier, but time management. I noticed, especially when transitioning from, you know, the computer to the model shop or from the model shop back to the computer to do some software um, stuff. I noticed that I would get off task quickly in those spots and could kind of lose, you know, 20, 30 minutes here and there. So, you know, focusing in on those areas and trying to be more productive when transitioning tasks. Uh, being proactive, uh, especially in when working with a team, I notice this is one area I can do better is it really takes one person to get the ball rolling uh, for a lot of team projects, but sometimes no one wants to step up to the plate and do that. So I've noticed that's one thing I can improve on just to get some team projects going a little faster. Uh, and then maintaining records. So just doing a better job of taking concise uh, notes and you know, recording exactly all the steps I've taken on a project, uh, just so when people come back to it, or if I come back from a large absence, that I know exactly where I left off at, and, you know, I can pick up the project where I, where I left off. Um, so biggest takeaways coming away from this internship, 
mentioned working within a team and modeling fabrication. Those are obviously two really big things in engineering that I'm going to take away going forward. And then also balancing assorted projects. So understanding that as I move into a career, it's not just going to be one project I'm working on 40 hours a week. It's going to be, you know, probably four or five projects. And I really have to, um, you know, figure out which ones are the most important based on timeliness and importance of the project and learn to prioritize and execute those projects. Um, so that kind of wraps up my presentation is my work cited and, uh, I'd love to open the floor for any questions. <laughs> Thank you.